This is a video about Chavez Jr. reluctance to fight Sergio Martinez, <clears throat> Ring Magazine middleweight champion of the world. Uh, Chavez has been a pro for about a little more than eight years now. Uh, does hold one of the middleweight trinkets and by WBC and he's just does not want to fight Sergio Martinez. He fought Zibic for the title. Since then he's fought Peter Manfredo Jr. which was a joke and he fought Marco Antonio Rubio. I mean they are not really big name opponents. Um, <clears throat> the WBC does want Chavez Jr. to fight Martinez. Martinez wants to fight. The people would somewhat want to see him fight Martinez to see if he's really as good as people think he is or he's just another tomato can with a belt. Me personally at this point I really think that Chavez Jr. is another tomato can with a belt until he really proves to me that he wants to fight Martinez. Uh, I think yesterday or the day before he went on he made a statement about how he was considering fighting Martin Murray. I guess he's the ranks rank, number nine ring magazine ranked contender for middleweights. Um, I don't know who this guy Martin Murray is. The boxing public has never heard of this guy. Another hand-picked uh, opponent for Chavez Jr. You know, um, <clears throat> if, like I said again, if Chavez really wants to prove his worth, fight Martinez. Martinez has a fight coming up in March. Wait till then and then say, all right, well, fine. Martinez, you got past your opponent. Let's fight next. Do that. He made a statement um, about saying how the WBC it's being not fair to him because <clears throat> they allow Floyd Mayweather to make voluntary fights or the same thing with Alvarez. The one thing I got to say about Mayweather fighting someone else, yeah, he is fighting Cotto. Cotto is still a big name. It's still He still is a noteworthy opponent. Don't get me wrong. I honestly feel that Mayweather should have fought Cotto four or five years ago, 2008, when they both were undefeated after Mayweather came off his knockout win of Hatton after uh, Cotto came off his win of Mosley. That's what should have been a perfect time they fought. But like I said, Cotto is still a, a noteworthy opponent. And as far as <clears throat> Alvarez fighting Mosley, Mosley, again, is still he's still a noteworthy opponent. He's still a name. Even though I think he's done and he's finished, but he's still a name. And like I said, Chavez Jr. hasn't fought anybody and he's still continuing to not fight anybody. You know, how how hard is it? How hard is it to, to say, okay, well, I'll wait until after Martinez has his fight, then okay, I'll fight you then. Is it him? Is it Bob Arum, top rank? Or is it both? You know, because don't get me wrong, I know a promoter is supposed to promote your fights and protect you, but as a fighter, at some point, if you say, I want this fight, make this fight happen, then make it happen. That's what a promoter is supposed to do. I know Bob Aaron will try to protect you as much as he can to try to milk the golden goose. I know that, but at some point, you cannot duck the guy forever. I mean, Sergio Martinez is the middleweight champion of the world. He just holds a belt. So, I don't know. Or is he going to try to do like his father did, string up a whole bunch of wins against a lot of nobodies and fight a couple of fighters and say, yeah, I'm 80-something to know. You know, like I said, he's been a pro for a little more than eight years. Debuted at 130 pounds. One thing I've noticed about Chavez Jr., especially his last two fights, they've been at middleweight, but he's come in weighing... 20 pounds over after after the weigh-in. That's ridiculous. Now, if you have a conditioning coach who who is who's good because that's Pacquiao's just conditioning coach in Ariza, something is wrong there. How is he putting on so much weight between the time of the weigh-in and between fight night? 20 pounds? That's ridiculous. He won't last much longer if him constantly doing that. Because then he's going to have problems making 160. And what's going to happen then? Him moving up to 168? That won't work. 
because there are just too many big names at 168 for him to be anywhere nearly effective or to him, for him to even cherry pick a title. It won't happen. <clears throat> I just wish that Chavez Jr. stopped hiding behind Arum. I wish Arum, you know, Stop, you know, pushing this guy along like he's so like he's good or the next big thing or whatever, and really see what this guy is worth. Okay, if he if he loses, so what? At least you're fighting for the title. You're fighting for the real championship. There's no shame in that. But where it is shame is you saying, well, at some point I do want to fight him, but he's not in my immediate future. I'm looking at fighting someone else in the meantime. Then that's that's basically saying you don't want to fight. Because then on the one hand, after your fights, when you're asked, do you want to fight Martinez? You say, I'll fight anyone. But then you end up fighting someone that no one's ever, that we have never even heard of. You know, so that's my view on my, that's my view on uh, Chavez Jr. I just think he's scared. He's scared. Barbarum's scared. They don't want the fight. So, and, you know, just, you know, leave me comments and tell me what you think, good or bad. Thank you.